I'm Pastor Mike Custer, the pastor of Bible Baptist Church in Grand Forks, North Dakota. And I'm glad to spend a few moments with you talking about Bible principles this morning. I'd like for you to, for you to consider with me for the next few minutes, hope beyond the grave. You know, we've just seen in our area the terrible uh, results of a situation where a, a police officer was killed and the sorrow and the grief and the loss that occurs when someone special loses their life. And some people, I'm afraid, imagine that physical life, the end of physical life is the end of everything. And while physical life is all we know from experience in this life, that's all we've ever experienced is physical life. And of course, we measure our existence by time. Uh, we don't have a sense of eternity and the life to come. And those who know the Lord Jesus Christ, uh, the Bible says, will be forever with the Lord. And the, the Word of God is very clear on things like this. In Philippians chapter 1, uh, verse 21, the Apostle Paul wrote, For to me live, to live, for to me to live is Christ, and to die is gain. And he, he was talking about the fact that he knew when he died, when his physical life came to an end, he would go to heaven to be with the Lord forever. And yet, many times, saints forget this, and they don't actually practically apply it in their life. We think about the worst thing that could happen. Oh, if I were diagnosed with cancer, and I found out that I was going to, to die, I found out that I was terminal. You know what? We're all terminal. We're all terminal. We're all going to die someday. And most people would say, well, not sooner, but later. Okay, I can accept that. But the fact of the matter is, we're going to spend eternity somewhere. And there is hope beyond the grave for the child of God, for the one who knows Jesus Christ as personal Savior. And to die is gain for that person. And even though we don't we, we, we don't know it from experience what heaven will be like. We do trust by faith that God has given it to us right. And of course he has. He tells the truth. He always is honest and accurate. And so we know that it will be better when we leave this life and we'll be forever with the Lord and joyful. And there'll be no more trouble or problems or sorrows or, or tears or death and things like that in heaven anymore. Listen to another portion of scripture from the Bible from 2 Corinthians chapter 5, the Bible says in verse 1, For we know that if our earthly house of this tabernacle were dissolved, we have a building of God, a house not made with hands, eternal in the heavens. And he goes on and talks about how he's looking forward to that, to, to receiving that eternal house. And the Bible goes a little further in verse uh, 6, where the Apostle Paul says, Therefore always confident knowing that whilst we are at home in the body we are absent from the lord and to be to be present with the lord is to be absent from the body while we're at home in the body we're absent from the lord but to be with christ to be absent from our body is eternal joy and peace and the fact of the matter is there is hope beyond the grave you know the apostle paul was writing to the church at thessalonica and he said to them in chapter 4 he said, when you lose a brother or sister, and I think he's talking about people who knew the Lord, brothers and sisters in Christ, don't sorrow even as others which have no hope. Some people don't have any hope. But if they know Jesus Christ as personal Savior, there is hope beyond the grave. And we understand that those who die in Christ, those who die knowing Christ, have gone home to be with the Lord forever. And we miss them. Yes, we do. And we'll never see them again in this life. It's true. But we understand as well that this life is brief. And temporal life just doesn't last very long. I think it's interesting to look back uh, when, you've, when you've lived out more than half of your days, maybe two-thirds of your life, to look back and say, my, how life has flown by. And isn't it strange the, the years just go by so quickly and things that we thought were so absolutely important and compelling just seem to be less important as those years uh, pile up on us. 
And it just seems like the reality begins to sink into us that, you know, we're going to die and what's really, really important. Well, it's having hope. It's having confidence, anticipation, expectation beyond the grave. That's what's really, really important. And what a blessing it is to know the Lord and know that your eternal destiny is forever settled in him. Even though death is unknown to us, it's a little scary to us to think about because we've never experienced it before. If we look at it through the eyes of faith, we'll have confidence and realize there is a blessing awaiting those who know Christ as personal Savior. Seek the Lord today if you don't know him so you can have that same confidence and that same peace that the saints enjoy. God bless you today.